Peace. So first off, black, colored, Negro, Afro-American, African-American, um, and any other misnomer, nigger, jigaboo, spoon, uh, uh, spook, coon, so on and so forth. All of those titles or scars denote to slavery. All of those titles and scars do not denote to being a member of the human family or a part of creation that God, Allah, has created. Um, God, Allah, has made man into nations and tribes specifically so that they would know one another. When you look at the Holy Bible, when you go into the Holy Bible, it is nothing more than nations and tribes. There are no white men, no red men, no yellow men, or no black men in the Bible. There are nations and tribes. There's the Philistines, the Amorites, the Canaanites. You know what I'm saying? There, there's the, the Jebusites and, 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 the, and the Philistines and the Assyrians and so on and so forth. These are nations, right? So it's the same thing. So when you look at, quote unquote, the condition of the so-called black man or black woman or colored man and colored woman and negro ask yourself how come every 20 or 30 years we had a name change you know what i'm saying it was colored at one time it was negro at one time it was black at one time and it still is and it's african-american now and even in the transition of those scars that were put on us through the annals of slavery those scars even had conflicts within our own makeup as of as a people you had some who were Negro, or pardon me, who were colored, and when the word Negro came out, they you, they would fight and argue over being called colored versus Negro. Don't call me a Negro because I'm colored. And it's the same thing when black came. Don't call me black, I'm a Negro, and don't call me a Negro, I'm black. So on and so forth. So it's the same thing. you fighting over terms, slave labels that were given to you by a slave master in, in a system of oppression consistently. But what happens is, is, that is easily done when you lack an identity. When you don't have an identity, it is easy to give someone who doesn't have an identity or even acknowledges the ideal of an identity or a nationality, it is easy to give them something else. It is easy to turn them into a made man. See, you got to remember, the European, those who put in the ideal of race, which is a socially man-made construct, because Allah never made, God never made a white man a red man, a yellow man, or a black man. That that came together in the 18th century from Germany, a racial construct based on a Hindu caste system. You understand what I'm saying? So those that color scheme was based from a Hindu caste system and it was placed and utilized in America for the concept of Europeans to preserve themselves. They made up the concept of race to preserve them to survive and to, to create a society for themselves. And that was a psychology as well in the process. So by utilizing white, black, red, yellow, that created a hierarchy with white being at the top and black being at the very bottom. And this was implemented during the time of slavery by the Freemasonic slave masters. They were Freemasons. So they utilized this science as well. And they placed it on us. They stripped us of our nationality. They cut down the cherry tree. I'm sure you, some of us may remember the story in school about George Washington not telling a lie and he chopped down the cherry tree. Well, the cherry tree is Masonic symbolism for a flagpole or a flag. The tree itself would be the flagpole and the cherry is the flag itself, which is a red flag with a five-pointed green star in its center. The Moorish flag was chopped down. This is how the nationality was stripped away when they chopped down the flag and then removed the national names and the principles of our people and, re and threw us into slavery and utilized the whole process of a breaking system as well as utilizing the degrees of their Freemasonry penalties to practice and perfect on us the first three degrees and the first three penalties, the cutting of the neck, the cut, you know, the cutting of the abdomen and opening up of the, the, the inner organs, the cutting out of the heart and so on and so forth, the removal of the tongue. All of those things were, were practiced on our people to execute the ideal of Negro, black, colored, so on and so forth. So the Negro, the black, the colored is a made man. He's not something that a law created. He's a made man and made through slavery and made through the European. Black, according to science, means death. 
What type of science does it mean? What type of science is it that black means death in it? It is the science of European psychology. When you look up the words or definitions in the, in the dictionary, those words are defined by the European themselves, which is why the word white means godly, purity, you know what I'm saying, and um, ange angelic, innocent, um, clean, you know what I'm saying, pretty, you know, all of those beautiful things. And then the word black means dismal, gloomy, evil, dark, so on and so forth. These are descriptions. These do not fit the attributes or the national name that a law put upon you because of the land and so on and so forth that you are attached to. See, slavery removed us from the human family. And when we voluntarily take on the names of black, colored, Negro, African-American, Afro-American, we are still keeping ourselves in slavery and every mistreatment and abuse that happens to us, it is, it's not wrong. Because we're not in the annals of slavery. We're still under the guise of property by not being what a law or God has made us to be. So it is up to us to just to be our own selves, our own natural selves, the authentic self that a law made you. You have a nationality. You're not black colored. Or, how can you be an African-American when there's 54 countries in Africa? 54 countries in Africa. So therefore, which African are you? If you're an African-American, which country, which nationality from one of those 54 countries are you? Are you a Ghanaian American? Are you a Mali American? A Hausa American? A Zulu American? A Shanti American? Guinea? What are you? Which African tribe or nation do you come from to be an African American? Because if you're an African American, you're nothing but two continents and a man cannot be two continents. A man cannot be a black colored or a Negro because man is made in the image and after the likeness of God law. So he can't be black colored or a Negro. And I would dare you to walk up to anybody of an Asian nationality, Chinese, Japanese, Korean, whatever, walk up to them and address them as yellow man and see what happens to you. They fought in China. They fought the British and other Europeans for calling them weak yellow men and yellow dogs because they had nationalism and nationality. They were Chinese. But you are fine with being called black, colored, and Negro. And that doesn't come from the creator. It comes from the European. So the European technically is your creator. He's the Adam. He made you. He's a, he made a man, a social being, because what he did was he removed your nationality in your divine creed. So by the removal of your nationality in, the divi in your divine creed, the divine creed is taking away from you your creator and your, and your connection and who your creator is because your nationality ties you to a particular creator. Because see, the creator is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a national creator. Every Every nation has one and every nation has an explanation or a way they see that one creator who has many names, many attributes. These attributes are what we call powers. These attributes can be utilized. I'll call them angels. These attributes can be utilized to heal, to do all types of things. But that's the science, though. Man is not black colored and Negro. He could never be. That is something that is made up by the European. It has nothing to do with nationality. Nationality is the quality and the characteristics of belonging to a particular nation. That's what it is. Black, colored, and Negro are names that delude to slavery. And these names will keep you enslaved. Yeah, you will seem to have a semblance of freedom, but the freedom is only so much. When you think about it. You understand? Because it could be so much greater. But the reality is, is, is that we are not black, colored, and Negroes. Those names were given to us during the times of slavery. And we keep those names up and we keep those names voluntarily on our hearts and minds. And we become those names. Remember, black, colored, and Negro are frequencies. There's vibrations that come with these. Whenever you take on those, 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 those scars, you take on the vibration that comes with it. And with that being said, that's for another lesson. Peace.